Hello friends and family, welcome to Bathroom Update. Seven days, it's been one week since we started this deal. As you can tell, we still have drywall behind me. Just plain drywall needs some paint. That'll come in time. As you can kind of see over here, we've got a missing countertop. More on that in a second. But the big deal is you can kind of see a little bit right there. We have tile in a tub. And right now I'm sharing the baths with a bunch of stuff. But we do have a tub. And about three quarters of the way down on the tile. That's really looking good, that marble tile. Check out the, the band. With the shiny in there. That is nice. Now the, that'll be back here too. And then this marble tile will be inside. What I'm kind of impressed with, what I kind of like is this metal edge. It's sharp. Not sharp like cut you, but it is sharp to look at. As you see, the plumbing is all done and ready for the tile to be done. And then we can get our shower head installed. Now, not much has happened on the floor yet. For some reason, they told me they had to do the floor tile before they could put the tub in, so I don't know. But as you can see, there's a big old line there now of the old linoleum. Now, why is that there, you ask? Okay, when they took the countertop off, the cabinet was extremely crooked. It was like two inches off the wall on the left side and like an inch and a half off the wall on the right side which wouldn't be a big deal but the countertops only 22 inches deep and that was putting it about 24 inches off the wall so that was an issue and we got the countertop right here it's off the cabinets one of the issues another issue was they centered the sink now the cabinet was not centered in the opening it was off to that side by probably about three to four inches so dude was like we can order you a new countertop you know and off center of the sink or what do you want to do and i said can we just center the cabinet i mean that seems like the easiest thing to do but one of the issues with centering the cabinet was the toilet paper holder was right here plus the cabinet was way out here past this so there's no way you'd ever get that in there. So today it looked like they had moved the cabinet over in the center position, but it was still the two inches and an inch and a half off the wall, which to me is no good because they were gonna put a big like filler back here. And I'm just, I'm just, it wasn't, I would never be happy with that look. So yours truly took some time tonight and I fixed it myself. After further investigation, I found out that they had just pushed the cabinet up against the pipes. All three of those pipes right there. And the main culprit was that one. So, I did a little cutting out. It's not the cleanest, but it's just for me. And I got this cabinet pushed back into the regular position. Now I have not attached it by any means because I don't know if they how far they need it away from the wall. So right now I've got it 21 inches that would leave a one inch overhang. I'm not sure how much of an overhang they're going to have. Maybe a half inch. If so, we can pull the cabinet out a little bit. But the problem is now we got that that going on down there. So hopefully they take care of that in the morning. But you can see, if you sit back, don't that, I mean, it looks extremely crooked sitting there because the cabinet was crooked before and the linoleum was cut along the crooked cabinet. So now the cabinet is straight, it looks crooked. That's just crazy. So eventually, I'm gonna build a shelf back here. Actually, my Uncle Larry's gonna help me do it. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna build two shelves here since we illuminated the cabinet. That should leave this wide open. It'll be awesome. So there you have it. Day 7 of the bathroom update. I haven't filmed this in a couple days because... I mean, yesterday they actually had the tub in. In the, in the backer board. And I just never made it up here to do it because I was tired. 
but lots of progress and it's coming along we're we're i think we've gone over the hump now and we're on our way down to you know around turn three so stay tuned um they said they should have the tile done tomorrow maybe barring any major things that come up and that may be a major thing that comes up they come tomorrow and be like what happened here but I would have never been happy with it if it was still crooked if it was two inches off the wall I'd have never been happy so I fixed it to the way it would make me happy because it is my house and I'm the homeowner and I want it the way I want it I was going to try to show you the countertop but it's not coming out real well. It is a light speckle gray. Put in right now, it looks blue. Yeah, I'll try without the flash, but still, it just looks really dark gray. I just realized I never did officially show you the tile that I picked out for the floor. I do have a piece out laying right now. Let's check it out. There we have it. Looks like wood, feels like tile. I mean, it definitely has a little more brown in it than the old tile. It's still got quite a bit of gray. It's got the weathered look, so I'm happy with that. So until tomorrow, hopefully all this tiling is done. This piece will be on the floor here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it once it's on. But anyways, we'll see you tomorrow with a major, hopefully, we're almost there to update. So until then, uh, give this a thumbs up if you like what you see. Comment down below if you like my choices on stuff. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, obviously. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a ding-dang-tastic day.